the keen harvest rally is coming up. I think they already had the junior harvest rally already, or they're going to have it. But the, this one is the teen harvest rally. Both are at the, the Edge Christian camp. And the ladies, the ladies fellowship thing was also at the Edge Christian camp. Men's Fellowship was also at the Edge Christian Camp. Even Pastor Coles went. Pastor Walt Coles, Walter Coles. It was probably like a father and son camping at camping out at the Edge Christian Camp. But they also have the Juniors Christian Camp there. But the teens go to the Wilds Christian Camp. Before that, the Juniors and the teens went to the Wilds Christian Camp. But before that, the Teens went to the Bill Rice Ranch Christian Camp, but then when Mr. Taylor heard of the Wilds Christian Camp, um, Kenny Rock and even Mark Taylor's wife, Patty Taylor, went to the Wilds before. And it's in there somewhere. The thing about the Harvest Rally is in there somewhere. Because the in introduction thing pops up first before we start this church service all the time. Because it's hard to time it right. do a comical Mr. Taylor uh, or orchestrated that. He's the Joker clown, classic clown and fun since 1980s on up, youth director, Christian, born again Christian youth director with his wife Patty Taylor and his children, um, Sherry Taylor, Paul Taylor and Andrew Taylor. Before that, um, Mark Taylor worked at the coat in the Coast Guard, I think in the boiler room. But then Pastor Ward Mac Palmer uh, needed, we needed a new youth director, and Mark Taylor was being called of the Lord to be a youth director. So somewhere in the 1980s, he became the full-time fledged youth director at Good News. Good News Baptist Church in Chesapeake, Virginia, in the year 2023. Mark Taylor and Patty Taylor are still going strong for the Lord. And 
impacting teens around the world. And junior kids too, impacting them too. For the good. Oh, announcement, here we go. September 24th, this might be it. If I can activate it. Yeah, no, I don't. Why all do this goes in the way before I want to do something? I can't even hit it. There. It's like it wants me to do something different. Oh, it was there. You had a meter! Jerry? You need a meter! You better be there. Just, you gonna be there? Are you gonna be there? Huh? You better be there! Wait, sir. You better be there! What are you talking about? Be there! I'll be there! there. I'll come get you! Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. Teenagers, be there. Saturday, October 7th is our Teen Virginia Harvest Rally at the Edge Christian Camp. We'll meet here at the church at 8 o'clock in the morning. We need to be there at 9 o'clock. The cost is $20 per person. You need to be there October 7th. God bless you. Last week, we introduced to you the six missionaries and their families who will be joining us for our missions conference this year. And so today, we're going to introduce to you our gift campaign. Now, as you're aware, each year we like to collect items for our missionaries to be a blessing to them. This year is no different. We have a great list of items that our missionaries need on the field or even while they're on deputation or here on furlough. So how do you get to this list? You should see on your screen a QR code. If you would take out your phone and click on that QR code, it will take you directly to a website where you'll be able to see all those gifts listed. If you don't want to use the QR code, go back to the Welcome Center, and you'll find a hard copy of that list there. Grab that copy and go start shopping. And then one final way, if you could, watch your email throughout the week, because we will send that link throughout the week in an email where you can click on that link and see the list of gifts that we're trying to collect this year. Now, in that list, on that link, you'll find our Amazon registry. We're gonna use Amazon this year because it's very convenient. You can click on that registry and you'll see the gifts that are available on Amazon listed. Once you click on that or you make a purchase, those gifts will be sent directly here to the church. In addition to the gifts that we're collecting, we're also collecting gift cards and cash. Now, you can send that cash in or you could give those gift cards to either Josh Wagar or myself, and we will put it all together and deliver it to the missionaries at the end of the week. I'm excited about what the Lord's going to do through your generosity to our missionaries for our missions conference this year. Christian Kaplan for the military, Taylor Sloan. It'll be here. We're looking forward to that very, very much. Let me ask a question of you. How many of you have a dog or have had a dog in your family? Quite a few. You know, I believe that the Lord gives different things to us in our lives and, and allows different things to take place that show us what his mercy is all about and what we are supposed to do as Christians. You know, this morning, Terry and Hannah came down forward, and most of you couldn't see this. But as Terry and Hannah came and they turned around, all of a sudden from the side I saw this blur come by me. And here it was Terry's dog. He came down around, went right down in front of him, and you know what he did after he laid down? He looked up at his master's face. How much many of us are looking at our master's face all the time? He was ready to serve at that moment when he looked up to Terry's face. And are we ready to serve our master? In addition, I was thinking about this as I read a story this week about a dog, too. His name was Mukhtar. He was from the uh, Yalta uh, area in Crimea. Anybody read that story about the dog that was over there? His uh, master was a lifeguard, went out into the Crimean Sea, uh, drowned apparently, never came back. But this dog for nine years would go back every day put his head on the railing there, look out into the sea, looking for his master. And he just passed away within the last couple of months. 
But there's also another dog too, Hashiko. Anybody have here Hashiko over in Japan? This is his 100th birthday in, in 2023. He was born in 1923. But again, he had a master that uh, traveled by train, would go away. And every evening he'd come back and he'd sit there and he'd wait for his master. Until one day his master had a cerebral hemorrhage. He passed away in the city, never came home. For 12 years, that dog would go and sit there outside that station, rain, snow, whatever it was. Became a homeless dog. The vendor that was uh, there giving food to people would feed the dog. But he stayed there every day and looked for his master. How many of us are sitting there looking for the Lord Jesus Christ to come back today? You know, it says there in Mark chapter 13, it says, For the Son of Man is a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for you know not when the master of the house cometh, at even, at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto you all, watch. We have a responsibility to be watching and serving. And those dogs have given us a great illustration of that loyalty. I trust that we as Christians will be just as loyal as we look forward to heaven as we sing about that tonight too. 560, just over in the glory land. I have a home prepared. Let's stand together as we sing. 560, verse 1, verse 3, and verse 4.